It's the job of the serpentine belt to deliver the engine's power to all the accessory drive components. Do you know how to tell when it's worn out? The answer might surprise you. Stick around. That's the topic for today's Mighty Minute. Hi, I'm Pete Meyer, technical editor for Motor Age magazine. Welcome to today's Mighty Minute. For over 20 years now, serpentine belts have been made with a synthetic rubber called EPDM. EPDM belts don't show visual signs of wear like their old neoprene belt cousins did, and in fact, if you see a belt with a lot of cracks in it today, that belt has long passed its useful service life. Instead, Think of your belt inspection just like you would a tire inspection. When we're inspecting tires, we don't focus our attention on cracks in the rubber. We focus it on the condition of the tread. The same applies to belts made with EPDM. We're not going to focus our attention on cracks in the rubber. We're going to focus our attention on the condition of the ribs and grooves. You can do this easily with a special tool like this Mighty Auto Parts belt gauge. To check the belt, Place the tool in the belt's grooves perpendicular and 90 degrees to the belt itself. If there is an air gap like this and no visual signs of other damage, the belt is still serviceable. If the tool lies flat on the belt like this, the belt is worn beyond its limits and needs to be replaced. Now if you find that the belt is worn or damaged, don't forget to inspect the tensioner. The OEMs design the accessory drive as a system in both our wear components, and it's a good bet that if one is worn, so is the other. Tensioners have two jobs, maintain belt tension and absorb any shock loads in the belt drive. So it's a good idea to inspect the tensioner too. Tensioners can wear out in two areas, the internal damper or in the pivot shaft bushing. Either can result in belt slippage, and that's the accessory drive system's worst enemy. Watch the tensioner while the engine is running. Some slight movement is normal, but any excessive movement or noise indicates a worn tensioner. Check the sides of the belt for physical damage or wear. Damage on one side can point the finger at a worn tensioner pivot shaft bushing which will cause misalignment between the tensioner and the belt. Belt slippage causes increased heat load in the belt and that can cause premature failure of the belt itself. And that's a situation that's going to leave your customer sitting on the side of the road. In addition, that excessive heat is passed on to every other component that the belt touches. That can cause premature wear and failure of all the accessory drive components. Hey, do your customer a favor, save them the unnecessary expense. Inspect the serpentine belt and tensioner whenever your customer brings the vehicle in for service. It only takes a mighty minute.